G'day guys, we've got an applications of differentiation question today, specifically a uh, incremental change problem. So let's have a look at it. Uh, it says, let us suppose that a person's body surface area A is related to the person's weight according to the rule A equals KW to the power of 0 0.4 for some constant K. Use differentiation to find the approximate percentage gain in A when W increases by 2%. Okay, so... What we have here is we have a, a function which relates A to W, and we know that W is increasing by 2%. So what we can say here is with this, we can say the change in W over the original W is equal to 2%, or as a decimal, 0 0.02. Great. So let's try and work this problem out. So we're looking and we're also looking for, let's just use a different color as well I remember. We're looking for delta A over A. Okay, so let's go about trying to solve this problem. So we are going to use the fact that for small changes in W or small changes in the independent variable, we can approximate the change in the dependent variable using just a standard differentiation uh, approximation. So what that means is, in this case, we can say that delta A over delta W can be approximated by dA dW evaluated for some W. So the way that this applies to this is we can say, well then, according to this, the change in A can be approximated by dA W evaluated when W is equal to a particular number times by delta W. Cool. So you might be thinking, well, what the hell does all this mean? Well, we're about to um, unlock the power of this relationship here in just a moment, so you'll have to bear with me. So what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at this function and we're going to differentiate it so we can have a get this dA dW. So we can go dA. Now I'm assuming you guys know how differentiation works. So I'm not going to explain this all. The, there are thousands of videos on YouTube on how to differentiate. So if you don't understand what I'm doing here, might as well probably look at one of them, I guess. So this is to the w to the negative 0 0.6. Okay, so that's our derivative. All right, so let's go about figuring out, well, why the hell do we want to do that? So what we can do is we can replace this in here. And we can say that delta A is equal to 0 0.4 kW to the negative 0 0.6 times delta W. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try and sort of work this function so we have a delta A over A. Now the best way to do that is I'm just going to divide both sides by A. As long as I do it to both sides, it's not going to affect our overall result, so I can just go divided by A, divided by A. Now, you might think, well, why the hell are we doing this? Well, now we've got this um, expression, the percentage change in A, in our function, and we've got a relationship between this and these variables here. So what we can do is it's in terms of W and A at the moment. So what I'm going to do is we know 
that a is equal to kw to the 0 0.4. So I'm going to replace that with kw to the 0 0.4. So on the top I've got 0 0.4 kw to the negative 0 0.6 times by delta w all divided by k w to the 0 0.4. So that's what a equals. Now, using some maths that you hopefully learnt when you were 12 years old, we know we can see because all of this is multiplied and divided, we can cancel out the k's, they will cancel, and we can use the index law a to the n over a to the m is equal to a to the n take m. To simplify this expression, well, to simplify the w's in this expression, we have 0 0.4 w to the negative 0 0.6 subtract 0 0.4 times delta w. And this is equal to 0 0.4 w to the negative 1 times delta w. And this can be written as, we're going to put the w to the negative 1 down the bottom. We're going to use this index law. a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n, and using this index law, I'm going to say put that w down the bottom, and more specifically, I'm going to put it down the bottom, but I'm going to only use it to uh, be the denominator over the delta w. So we've got a function that looks like this. Cool. And this is what delta A divided by A is equal to. Now, you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, we know what this is. So let's just give ourselves some room and take this. Up here. So we can then say that, well, delta A over A is going to be equal to 0 0.4 times, now instead of writing delta w over w, we know what that is. We've got it here. So this is going to be equal to 0 0.02. And from here, we can say that delta A over A is equal to 0 0.008 or 0 0.8% increase. So that's how we're going to work out this uh, percentage change function using sort of like an incremental change relationship. Um, you know, it's there is a little bit to get used to. We have to um, have a working knowledge of this formula here. Um, and what I mean by working knowledge is you have to be able to manipulate it to be able to uh, get the uh, w over the other side and then know that you can then multiply or divide in this case both sides by a variable to make the um, left hand side in this case equal to what you're after in the first place. So what we were able to do after we did that is once we had it all over a we could then substitute a for what we knew a was equal to in the uh, question do a little bit of algebra, well mostly the rest of the question was algebra, we just manipulated the formula to get delta w over w, which we already knew was 0 0.02, and then once we had done that, the, it was just a case of multiplying two decimals together to get 0.8%. So not too tricky, go over the video a couple of times, um, will probably help. Uh, make sure you attempt quite a few different styles of percentage change questions. You can usually find them on the internet from anywhere. So, but yeah, until next time, if the video helped, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again next time.